in this video we are discuss about VRRP. VRRP stands for virtual virtual router redundancy protocol. Virtual router redundancy protocol. VRRP is seen like HSRP. But HSRP is Cisco proprietary. HSRP is Cisco proprietary but VRRP is open vendor. It means we use HSRP on Cisco routers only but we, are, we can use VRRP on any vendor's router. VRRP and HSRP have some little differences. Let's compare these two protocols. As I already mentioned, HSRP, this is a Cisco property and this is open vendor. The first and major difference. It have other differences like HSRP have active and standby routers. But in VRRP, we call them active as a master and standby as a backup router. The working is seen but we give the different name. Active becomes master and standby becomes backup routers. The multicast address of HSRP is 224.0.0.2 and for VRRP the multicast address is 224.0.0.18. Now hello and whole timer is hello is 3 seconds and hold is 10 seconds. But in VRRP hello is not there. There is advertisement because there is no hello packet. There are advertisement packet. That timer is 1 second and the hold time is multiplier 3 of advertisement. It means if we are using 3, 1 as an advertisement, then the whole becomes 3. Now, in HSRP, active and standby, both routers send hellos to each other. But in case of VRRP, only master send advertisements to all other standby routers. It needs virtual IP to be unique IP address. It means a IP that uses by group or standby group that particular IP does not exist of any physical interface. But VRRP we can use a virtual IP that may be used by a physical interface in the scenario. For example, if these two routers, this interface having IP address 10.0.0.1, this interface having IP address 10.0.0.2, it means in case of HSRP, we need to use the unique ID. It means we do not use dot one and dot two IP for the group but in VRRP we can use dot one also we can use dot two also. These are some differences that have VRRP and HSRP. Otherwise otherwise the working is same for both the protocols. The one more difference is in virtual MAC address. In HSRP, we already discussed the virtual MAC addresses and these two bits are used as number or you can say group number, standby group number. But in VRRP, the MAC address is these two numbers also used as a VRRP group number. If you need to apply VRRP, in, in HSRP, we use standby keyword on the interface mode. Instead of a standby, standby, 
you need to use brrp then the brrp number or brrp group number then ip and you can use the ip here in the case of brrp you can use the ip that already given to a physical router interface you can use this ip in brrp but in hsrp you use the unique ip address and the working and the all commands are same for brrp for showing the brrp the command is show brrp and the working is same like hsrp brrp and hsrp does not provide load balancing for example this is r1 this is r2 these are hosts in this scenario one of these links becomes active for example this link this link becomes active and this link send data physically but when this link is used for sending the data this link is not using it means this link is totally waste and this is the link that used in a case when this router or the link goes down otherwise this link is not usable but in case of load balancing we can share the data half data is goes via this link and half data goes via this link this possibility or this function is not runnable on hsrp or vrrp both protocols that not support load balancing but we can use load sharing here for creating load sharing we need to create multiple groups for example i am creating a group here i am giving a ip address group 10.10.10.10 this is the virtual ip to the virtual group and the group number is 1 in the group number 1 i am giving priority to r1 as 1110 it means for group 1 r1 becomes active and this is the virtual link virtual ip address of that particular group i am giving 10.10.10.10 to this interface to gateway of this host then i am creating the group number 2 stand by group number 2 with the ip address 10.10.10.11 and we put priority r2 as 1110 it means for group number 1 r1 becomes active for group number 2 r2 becomes active so if we are using this ip as a gateway then r1 sends the data if we are using this ip as a gateway in host then r2 group number r2 take place and r2 sends the data by this way we can use load sharing but uh, by default hsrp and brrp does not support any load balancing if we want load balancing we go to the next protocol that is glbp glbp is the solution for load balancing 